Welcome to today's restorative yoga class. This is all about just relaxing and restoring our energy. And you will be needing a yoga bolster or just any dense pillow. So grab your bolster if you have one. Again, couch cushions would work perfectly here. You want to put the bolster underneath the knees like this. And we will start with a forward fold and afterwards we will do a reclined back bend, but also with the support of the bolster. So please get comfortable, maybe put a blanket underneath your hips so you sit nice and tall. Inhale, get nice and tall and then exhale to fold. You can hold on to your feet or the shins if that feels appropriate for you. If that's too much for you, you could just turn your palms face up and surrender even more. So there's no reaching or straining here. We don't want to reach for the feet. We want to gently fold forward without any striving for, for going in very deep. This is supposed to be relaxing and gentle. So just go as much forward as is possible for you without struggling or straining. And then settle in and we'll start with this deep relaxation. Fully relax into this shape, let your upper body drape down onto the floor with each breath getting a little heavier and heavier. And we will stay here for five to seven minutes. So if your mind begins to wander, no, that's totally normal. Don't struggle against this natural tendency of the mind because the mind really wants to focus on something. So again, if that happens, always come back to focus on your breath.
always like to do when I'm feeling stressed or my mind is overly active, I like to emphasize the exhale. So for example, inhale for a count of three or four, and then exhaling for a count of five or six. So you're trying to make the exhale a bit longer than the inhale. And on every time you exhale, imagine all tension melting away. You can here in this pause imagine it melting away down your back and into the ground away from you. So everything that's going on, the mental clutter, let it go with each exhalation.
turn your palms face down and press into your hands to come back up. Head is the last thing to come back up. Very slowly and mindfully here. Take your time. And then when you're ready, come into a comfortable seating position to take a moment to take a mental note of how this one pose shifted your energy into a more relaxed state. Appreciate this feeling if you have it and if not, that's okay too. Gently flutter the eyes open and please place your bolster now the long way to your mat like, like I'm doing in the video. We're going to lay back down on it into a reclined butterfly pose. So sit right up against the bolster like this just so we have a little gap between the hips and the bolster so it's not too intense and then begin by lying down onto your elbows, onto the bolster. Soles of the feet come together to touch and your knees fall apart out to the sides. You might need to use two blocks underneath the knees if this is too much for your lower back. Alternatively, you could also just straighten out your legs or keep them bent if that's more comfortable or suitable for you. Your arms can reach up overhead into a diamond shape. This also stretches you across your chest, but if this is too much, you can place your arms just by your sides, palms face up. So choose a position that feels comfortable for you. I always like to start with the hands overhead my head and then after a few minutes I take them back down because it gets quite intense. So doing yoga poses like this that are close to the floor and very supported are especially great for releasing any stress and anxiety since they have a grounding energy. Let your breath be slow and heavy and relax into this shape.
Breathe into your heart. Feel it expand as you inhale and soften as you exhale. And on each exhalation, feel yourself melting further into your support and into the ground, into the mat. Come out, start pressing your 
knees back up, maybe with the help of your hands, and then slowly peel yourself up from your support and then roll the bolster off to the side. We will lay down on our backs now without the bolster. And if you're down on your back, please pull your knees into your chest and give them a big squeeze. You might want to draw some little circles or gently sway from side to side to release any tension that may have built up in your lower back. If you make little circles, make sure to switch directions. Just let this feel good and do any movement that feels right to you. When you're ready, stretching out into Shavasana, straighten your legs, arms go out to your sides. Fully rest here.
slowly begin to deepen your breath, wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe sway your head from side to side or reach the arms up overhead in a big cat stretch. Draw one leg into the chest and then the other, giving yourself a big squeeze. And then roll over to your right side, using your forearm as a pillow, left hand to the mat, to press yourself back up, eyes stay closed, attention inward. Come to a cross-legged seat or kneeling to close this time together. Please bring your heart, your palms together in front of the heart. And may you carry light and love out into the rest of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. I hope you feel more relaxed after this nice yin yoga restorative yoga class. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a comment down below and if you're new to my channel, subscribe and like this video and maybe even share it with a friend to spread the love of yoga. Practice again with you soon. Namaste.